We've got some great matches lined up here on the Storm stream. Of course, we're starting off with Neon. His cruise is not going to be very tough. That's, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, but he's not having very much fun right now. DJ rotating over the DJ from Makoto himself. Gets a nice eighth of Remnant. But the Torrent is going to land perfectly from Makoto. Still, they do get first blood. Passed away. Able to secure the life of DJ before he loses his pin. Over on this Mars and Tech, he says now Makoto is going to rotate in, looking for an X back but can't find it. Instead, he will go on to Bombi. They'll have to accept the simpler kill in the Techies. They will miss out on JG. Now Ken's rotated right onto Jackie, and Jackie's gone! Oh, that is not good news, Ken. This completely blows up the Life Stealer. We'll be able to get Makoto out of there, I think. Just the one Bracer. More than enough to sit through most of that damage. They try again, but there was no ace of remnant to lock him down, so Bobby's not gonna land with the blast off, and DJ is around to help out anyway. Makoto, though, he's dropping very, very low, and might just go down again, and he is gone. Ken, able to secure one. He wants another, though, he'll chase down DJ. But he doesn't have any astral step charges. He has to look the old fashioned way with an Aether Remnant, but it will not land. Now Masaros rotating, going in onto the Void Spirit, though Ken's still trying to fight this one out. We'll go back on a DJ, hoping for another kill. We'll try it, but won't have enough damage. Still, we'll be able to TP away. Appreciate Ken really playing on the edge, and he does buy enough space for his team to take down the T1 mid tower. They see action come out, Ken comes in, and then Castaway TPs on top. Everyone starts to connect to that area. Trying again. Yeah, trying with the DJ. Kodos has got that last win on the free line. Well, DJ is still being hunted. Oh, we'll fly to help out. That's a big boat from Makoto. Landing on two. They'll take down Castaway. They'll protect DJ. Ken, oh, probably going to regret his choice to try and move in for that kill as he's going to go down. What a wraparound up top here. Yeah, sadly, they're only going to find Bombi, so... JT's going to be here. He's trying to help out. Bombi is as good as dead by the scenes of it. We'll drop the arena. Bombi's still trying to survive. Does get the last off of the time. And Ken is going to rotate as well. Trying on Makoto. The Kunk is dropping extremely low now and should go down and does. That's a great trade for Neil. Masteros coming back in, but Ooh. he's gone. Oh, CDR with the Eclipse. Right on the edge. Takes down Masteros. Takes down DJ. Oh, what a terrible fight for Bleed. Even Jackie's been left behind. We'll try for the race TV away, and it seems like he's going to be fine. But a three for one trade. So at this point, Torrent Storm shouldn't be a major surprise. Still a smoke angle here by JG and Bombi. That's our awesome. We've caught the arena, but a nice shoot from the spear. Just like the bell. Last play will rotate it before the mass one. He's actually pretty tanky target. He'll go back for the time walk. Meanwhile, DJ in danger. So is Jackie, dropping really low. He's out of rage now. Jackie's gone. That is the first life. Can they get him a second time? EJ does drop. They want that life still though. Jack is oh. getting annihilated. CDR takes him out. Dakota's up next to the chopping block. Neon going for a bit more. Would love the Kunkka. They'll miss out on Masaros, but it won't matter if they can find Makoto. And they will. Makoto's gone. The response was just, again, a little bit delayed from lead here. Yeah, pretty rough affair. What a lane. Ken. Get caught. It does have Dissimulate. It does have Astral Step Charges, though Jackie is going to find him. He does get one hit off on Ken. Ken trying to TP play out. Oh, he's not going to make it. The Glaipnir from Masaros making it just in the nick of time. It's that you really need to snowball off these track hills. They found a couple. It's just not enough to really get ahead for sure. DJ. DJ kind of baiting see the other gonna go for the equipment from the Masteros. Masteros walks back away as Jackie now trying to go onto the Luna, but she's fine. The X? The X. The X is there, but Ooh. it's not gonna be enough. It's Bobby. Does go down, so they do find something. They're pretty stuck, though. They're kind of waiting for me on the start of the motion, I feel. He's gonna lock down the end. It's pretty fine here, just happy to kind of dance around the side of Bleed Esports. So just to get the extra step charge now. Catching Masteros with an Aether Remnant, the Master wants to keep going. See the now, he does get caught by a boat. This could be a big one. The Lunar is gone. Oh, Bleed. They actually find CDR. He was not able to get any hits in. And now Castaway's been caught out as well. Castaway trying for the TP play out, but will not make it. Jackie will take him down. Absolutely, I see the eyes. Needs the BKB to be able to play very aggressively. Is Ken. We got on Masteros. He's X-Dump. Get hit by a torrent. Ken. Who has an Astral Step charge. 
Should be okay. Jack is going to show off now. Ken still playing on edge. Meanwhile, towards the south, Castaway has been caught here by DJ and Polison. He's still trying to go for a run himself. Meanwhile, Ken jumps back in, but Ken, he's dropping very low. He'll be able to dissimilate away for now, though. Meanwhile, CDR. Also caught out. Still has the BKB available. Good drop the Eclipse on Jackie. Jackie though, happy to just kind of take to him for now. But not Ooh. for long. Jackie! He's gone. That's the Aegis down. Makoto in the meantime, he will drop to boot. And it's Jackie against the world now, but he's just got not enough. He'll go for the run for the Infest play, but it is not going to be it. Neon Esports able to punish in a very prolonged team fight. Without the DT Siege on, there's nothing holding them back apparently. This is what they want. They want the close qualifier. That, I mean, that's where we used to see Neon shine. Oh, JG! Oh, JG. What an arena! He found a double spear out of that! Oh, oh JG! What a stun out! They only take down Makoto, but with that, they can go for another Rax. Open access here for CDR. He has his BKB off cooldown as well. And he has a Gabeless flying in, Jackie. He's gonna jump in. Ken, Ken's a big target, Jackie. He's trying desperately to protect that tier 3 tower. Keep in mind, BKB's up on CDR, so it's very hard to deal with the Luna, which has got that available. As they jump in again, Jackie. Force the BKB up. Not feeling safe. The crypt will be dropped. But go after DJ instead. Jackie's still manning up, trying to deal with JG, but JG's perfectly fine. He can just walk away. Jackie, I think he's gone too far. He might just be gone, and he is. He is down. But he might buy back. He does have it available. They are two Raxes down. Neon in the meantime looking to retreat. CDR. Are they gonna really leave him behind? I don't know about this, CDR. Dropping quite low. Maseros on the chase. They seem like they may not have enough as buyback is gonna be out, JG. Just in case they need it. You just have to find that angle here, but Neon aren't relenting. They are certainly not. We get a tidal wave drag back on the Ken's a tanky boy. Yeah. Jackie's gonna be so careful. They just Holy. drop the eclipse immediately onto the life stealer. CDR, he just wants the racks, he does not care for the team fight nor the kills. He'll find at least one back and he finds the second. Now the arena's down. GG, Jackie? he found Polison already. Meanwhile, Jackie's gone. Jackie is down another time. No buyback available. It is time to call it, I think. But they will continue trying to defend. They do find Bobby, but the T4 towers? The T4 towers just melted the damage of CDR. Current storm out, but try to lag this out a little bit more. The Neon, they are just relentless onto this Ancient. They are not stopping. Nakoto's been jumped. Ken will take him out. And that's it. GG will play this call. Neon Esports. Another Game 1 victory here in the upper bracket of the ESO 1 Birmingham qualifiers for SCA. We are going to our Game 2 here between Bleed Esports and, of course, Neon Esports and it's MLP Dota and Dronix fight. CDR and Castaway, they are both going to show up. DJ, though, having his smoke broken, will still run into CDR. They are not prepared. It's a quick disruption now, but it's a victory emptiness now. They do catch out DJ, and it seems as though DJ is going to be left behind. First blood is going to go the way of Castaway. I mean, you, you probably want to see the two points in double edge the point you're going to go for those kill attempts. And of course, top lane, speaking of your potential, Polison's in trouble now. Polison goes down. With a full free wave behind him, he might get away with this tower. If this keeps up. We have a pretty big loss for Neon Esports as Makoto, speaking of big losses, does go down to the mid lane to Ken. Just leads not wanting to play any kind of aggressive game up against Neon as they are going to find Polison now. Top lane, Polison skewed back into the T1 tower. It's okay for now, but the RP. Oh, JG just not messing about at all. This is up. Stampede is bomb there, going to try and go after Bobby. I'll be actually going to mess around here with a sharpshooter. But we'll still end up going down. If you get the initial stunts off on Jackie, you can blow him up. Jackie will back off. Instead, Polison is looking to attack the gank here for his carry. Polison, indeed, will go down. Maseros, though, will show up. And in danger. Jackie holding onto the chrono. For now, the dream coil It's off the mark. Jackie's still holding onto the chrono. Ken, though, he looks to turn around now. It's Jackie in the gank. They are looking to back their way out. In comes JG. Masaros. He'll stun up the Magnus. But it looks like Massa in huge trouble. And will be left behind to die. It's cast away. Will completely block him up. Masaros, he's probably the only guy that can successfully try and defend this, but it's gonna be pretty challenging. Koto will TP in to try and help out. 
Massa charging forward onto the outcome. Has found the stubble. Where's your follow-up damage? It's not there. Jackie will rotate. He's got Chrono available. But again, are you going to have the follow-up damage in that Chrono? Look at Castaway! And now the RP, JG! JG's got three of them! Jackie, he pops the Chrono! A Castaway with the perfect setup with the creeps! And JG! What a reaction! You're just waiting for Jackie to time walk in and the perfect RP to come out. Finding all three targets. Oh, that, that is just a masterclass Magnus initiation. Speaking of bleed, they are going to group up as four. They see Ken at the top lane. They would love this guy as a target. He might he does have a secondary life, so they're going to have to get quite a bit to kill him once. But they have got the dream code to lock him down. Ken is gone. That is one life, but now his team are right behind him. Lead Esports immediately just all TPing out, but Jackie! Oh, Jackie's been left behind! He's got a TP available, but he has been left behind! Everybody else just TP'd away! Meanwhile, Stampede popped from Masteros, trying to creep skip the mid lane, but they do click off the creep wave, so the creep wave is going to be just fine. The mid racks, however, at least with the dire end, is not looking too good right now. CDR, he has not stopped. Take this one down. CDR, they'll purge him up. Jackie, gonna jump in. He'll force up the BKB from CDR. They'll go for the Chrono now. And of God is out. Can they get through the Alchemist? He's got no technical range available. CDR is gone. But in comes JG with the double RP out. Ken, he might have the damage output. He's found the void in Jackie. No, he'll barely survive. Jackie is out. The Time Walk is there in time. Meanwhile, Makoto trying desperately to capitalize off this uh, off this team fight. We'll go after Castaway. The Chen for now is going to be okay. We'll heal up with the mech, but does eventually go down. JG also being chased here by Makoto. May just drop to boot. Neon Esports, they will lose four. And Bleed, they will literally lose nothing. Finally seeing the opportunity while the Chemical Rage and BKB were committed. And it does certainly pay off. Neon, if you're Neon right now, you might be feeling a little... Ooh, Makoto! Makoto goes down? Bottom T3 tower now, under siege. CDR, this time around, will be very careful, I think, with the BKB music. So, Naki just jumping right in. Wants the out, and he has it! He was coming out, CDR still alive. The RP comes in, JG! Trying to survive CDR, but it's not enough. The Alk is down. Maybe they can take the 5v5. Lead will keep going. They want the Void Spirit now, Ken! Ken is gone! Another team fight where Jackie just sees the opening with the Chrono! And that was with the Chemical Rage! Castaway! Oh, Castaway's gone, a boot! Chrono is not up for another 40 seconds though, so it should be a little bit of a risky fight, but they are going to jump in on Ken. Ken actually dropping very low. There is going to be a heal coming up from Castaway, but Ken is gone! Ken is down to start off the fight, this is not what Neon wanted. Jason's going to try and save with a nice skewer, but it's not helping at all. CDR is down to boot. Bleeder just running all over them now in this game too. As four are down. Bombi is the only survivor, but Bombi will drop to boot. And suddenly bleed. Look at the high ground. Neon, they cannot afford to let this one go. CDR, he's been scattered out already. He'll pop his BKB early on, but there's nothing defensive with the BKB is now the Chrono comes out, Jackie is there again with the damage output, CDR is just completely melting to the damage and he is gone as they are on to Ken, Ken will follow right after, they are falling apart, RP committed but it's only on DJ, JG will drop straight after. Bottom racks, taking his time, Maceros is going to jump in but JG with a nice skill back into the T4 towers. Does force Masaros to pop the Stampede and the PKB is Bombi! Just gets double-edged on the way out. Masaros just takes it with him. Process the world with just avoid hitting your buildings, but you will eventually start. There you go. The barracks is gone. The rest of the crew is still hanging around the mid-racks. Jackie will find the big to leave barracks now. Kodo still spreading them with his own body. Neon, they've got to try and fight. There's no two ways about it. You cannot base race anymore. You've got to go for the big 5v5. JG will go for the skill play on Jackie. They'll find the first life. 
the Aegis is down. Makoto in the meantime, he's been jumped by CDR, but Makoto is still fine to back his way out as now. Jackie will jump onto the out, he'll get the Chrono off. Can CDR survive through the Chrono? It's not enough damage quite yet, maybe he can, but eventually they will take him down. Makoto has died to boot, but does it really matter? I don't think it does. They'll lose Ken on the Void. JG now. JG trying his best to survive a little bit longer. He will drop to boot. Leader onto the Ancient, and GG is called. Neon Esports. They fumble the ball. Mid-game. They lose a couple of fights on the high ground. And that's all Bleed needed. Third game between Neon Esports and, of course, Bleed Esports. Game 3 is uh, is officially upon us now. JG trying to rush for the others as well. We're going to see Polison. Sticky Bob will land, but he does have the blinding light to knock them back. Still, Polison has been slowed up quite a lot with these blood grenades across the enchant. And JG again. Not trusted that the Pango will be able to deal with the TA damage. Meanwhile, Maseros not playing so carefully as CDR. Dropping low does back his way out. The Castaway. It does leave CDR very low on the HP pool, but he does have a salve, and now they can look towards DJ again. Enchant is there, they will cancel the salve off, but CDR knows he can't really die! So he really plays on the edge for now, but Polison comes in. Polison looking for a blinding light attempt. Maybe back in a master or CDR gonna find out the hard way. Polison's here, and CDR will eventually go down. If you are bleed, it's playing on edge here as Maseros now being chased a little bit by Castaway. Meanwhile, Makoto, also in danger in the mid lane, does get hit by a blast off and he is gone. Meanwhile, top lane, jumping on Jackie, though Jackie will survive, moving back in on Bobby now with Ward. Rather than the Shadow Step as JG gets hit by Rolling Thunder from Makoto mid TP. Makoto getting stuck on the Lotus Pool is still chasing. JG just trying to back his way out, but he is looking as good as dead. Swash does not land, but it will not matter. Jackie finding a double kill now on the Spectre. Is right behind JG now, just 200 gold behind. DJ. He's getting dived past the T2 tower, and oh, I slipped up. Let's get to the blast stop. Stampede will save DJ. Poor old Bobby will be left behind, does go down. Meanwhile, skewer back. They're gonna fight Masaros again. This time there is no stampede to keep him alive, so Masaros is gone. Jackie is the closest target to them. I believe the, the traps are seeing this is Jackie will try for the TP! Oh, but JG's caught him! JG has caught him again! Jackie! I can't believe that skewer landed! Lead. I mean, they group up, they want to protect the bottom tier 2 tower, they do not want to allow all their outer towers to go down this early. We are only 21 minutes in, they'll jump Ken on the TA, but do you have damage without the Spectre? They, oh, in fact they do? They certainly do apparently. Ken, he just got left behind. Bombi, also kind of being left behind here on the Techies, will eventually go down of the Roshan pit. Mind you, Bleed are very well aware that this is probably happening. There are traps and mines, that'll give the info away here now to Neon. CDR's not stopping the Massa, he's gonna jump in. Bombi has already been caught out, and CDR, already at low HP, does need a BKB up, and does back his way out. JG in the meantime, commits the RP, he will find Makoto on the Pango. It's a great pickoff so far for Neon. Bleed are not backing off though, they'll hold that position. We're out again from Rosha. DG trying for a skewer, gets lifted up by DJ! He's in a very awkward scenario now. Jackie has jumped in, but JG is going to survive as they will go into Masaros CDR. He's doing so much damage, and Masaros is gone. So is Palos, or excuse me, rather Polison, I should say. DJ, in the meantime, we'll be all right. Top side, Massa. Oh, Massa's been caught. RP right after the Stampede as well, perfectly timed by JG. Which means Masaros has no chance of escape. Another big kill set up by the mag. Ken will happily jump in and secure the kill. Here we go JG. Shadowblade up. Tries reveal, he'll go in onto Masaros. And Massa has been dragged into the loving arms of CDR though he still gets a Stampede away. They did not have enough damage, Massa will make it.
Meanwhile, CDR will try onto Polis, and Polis is still okay as well as Jackie's gonna show up. They're trying onto the Ursa. CDR dropping very low, trying to run with the BKB, but Makoto is on the chase. Mass has got him. The Ursa is in huge trouble, but CDR still trying to run, does not make it out. He is down. That's the big bear gone. Still they go for more. Makoto will find Bombi. Ken just blinking his way out, not liking what he sees. Castaway being left behind. They bleed. Uh, they're doing it again. They are doing it again. They're finding openings. Look at the traps the DJs have has set up here. I appreciate DJ just prioritizing this trap usage here against Ken. Like it's it's a very easy spell to steal, but look at the vision it gives you. Makoto though. Makoto gets caught out. The RP does land. Makoto's gone! Makoto's gone without buyback! A double kill out for Ken! He's looking for Polison now. Polison trying to TP away, but the damage up puts too much. They are draining all the mana of CDR. They are being relatively annoying here for the Ursa. Kono gonna jump in. Haunt is out as well. They're looking to blow up Ken, and Ken is immediately just bursted down. They've even got the Aegis of the Ursa. That's a great start for Bleed. CDR needs to get out of there, desperately trying to turn around. In fact, he's going to go after Maceros. Ken's going to buy back in the meantime. Blast off in from Bobby. Not trying for Jackie, and now the RP's out. JG, he's got a couple for DJ. He'll take the RP away. It's not enough, though. It is not enough. They are down, but the buybacks are immediate. Jackie, he'll come back into the fray after CDR. They've got the Ursa. The Ursa is gone, but now Ken. Ken has returned. Jackie cannot afford to die back, but he is... No, he's fine. He will TP back towards the fountain. But it's a 2v4 scenario. All they require now is a creep wave. The mid racks. It will eventually go down. The bottom racks they go. They want to play this conservatively. I can't quite blame them. They're going to group up and smoke themselves. It could be a huge team fight to decide the game. The Mines will give the info over. They know where Bleed are. They'll jump in, but CDR, he gets to the low ground. They'll skewer Maceros away, but the Stampede is going to allow them to reposition. Still, Massa is being chased down. He is barely alive. Now the RP out. They've caught Makoto. Makoto is gone. That is the Pango down. Still waiting. Oh, CDR. CDR right in. They even found Maceros behind the tree line. Maceros, he's a sitting duck without his ulti. He's gone. But he's got buyback. He'll commit it immediately. Lead's still holding out. Three buybacks committed. That's going to be enough for Neon to get out of there. Might be met by CDR before they get there. CDR is going to show himself on the creep wave. Kodo, he's in. X is out. They caught the Ursa. CDR, they're trying to blow him up, but he gets the enrage off mid disable. Still, the nullifier is going to fly out on the Ursa, but he's still able to walk away. In fact, now Makoto. Makoto's the one that could be in danger, but he'll survive for now. Meanwhile, Jackie jumping right in. He'll be stunned up by CDR. Now the RP comes out, holding down the Spectre. Jackie is gone. Two minutes is the respawn timer for the Spectre. It's Maceros. He will be the second to fall. No buyback available on him either. Neon though, looking to get through to the upper bracket final. Looking very, very good here. The tier four tower is under siege. Still a minute away for the Spectre to respawn. Buyback gold is not coming quick enough as JG. He'll find Makoto on the Pango. Makoto just annihilated. No buyback either. Neon, they've got the GG call. They've done